The viral one himself, uh huh. Yeah. Mills, motherfucking Hendrick. Clap your hands, everybody. Let's go. Trying to go viral, go. viral uh -huh. today. Uh huh. This nigga here, bro. You oh, do God, not know. All right, the man. Listen, one. before we start our madness, man, please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Music. We're on Pro Wrestling Tees. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitch. Uh, yo, we just finally fucking made it to iHeartRadio. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, get at your boys and all that. We on deck like a, I'm the DOE. The problem, Stones, and we are here with the viral one, Mills Hendrick. Yo, boy, oh, man. introduce yourself, man. Let's do it. You already know it's the viral one, the youngin' on his grind, mm -hmm. the Bronx prodigy, Mills Hendrick's in the building. Yeah, you got to use that, man. First of all, he sounded like he was real. Yeah, 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 yeah. He walked up to me and I was in the corner store. He was like, a Bronx party. I was like, no problem, B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about that. But... Let's talk about how did you get your start? When did you first fall in love with wrestling, brother? Ooh, let's back go. In the attitude era, I, yes. I, I remember like I was in my grandma's house, and it was a group of my cousins. We used to just like roll around, wrestle each other, throw uh -huh. body slams, and we was like I was like three. I was the youngest, uh -huh. and my the rest of my cousins was like five or eight. And then which one call it? My grandma used to have like. The old school VHS tapes. Mm. Oh, wow. Yo, I just want to shout out everybody's grandmother, bro. Shout out to all the because black grandmothers. I don't, want to, I don't want to cut you off, but nah. everybody that has came on here, this show, yeah. and we've like, yo, how did you start watching wrestling? Mm -hmm. Every single person was like, the grandmother or an aunt. It was never a mother. It was never a father. <laughs> uh -huh. It was always a grandmother mm -hmm. or a aunt, man. But go ahead, continue, man. Shout so, out to your grandmother, though, she, man. She had the old school, like, I'm talking about before Attitude Era. She had, like... Uh, Tuesday in Texas. Cause she was, you know, she yeah. Had the, she had the, the big, Macho Man, the stuff. black and white. Oh era. man, yeah. yeah. So Let's she, go. she was like, it was like, she gave it to me like as a like as a simple so because my cousins they was how grown it type mm -hmm. shit type shit, and I was still the, the youngest. So she knew like, oh, the youngest he about to get into it, whatever. And it's just stuck with me. But well, Grandmama like, sold you on some shit, and she did a great job, man. Yeah. Let's go. Shout out to my grandma, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. So what was yeah. the first, what was like, go ahead, go ahead, continue. The first one, it was like, it was a classic. And it was like the Royal Rumble, I think it was 91. Wow, you can no, remember no, no, that. No, 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 my bad, my bad, it was 93. You can even remember the year, that's cool. Just, just like me. Remember the year, it, it, bro. It the like year, me, man. Take a guy attacked by um, Giant Gonzalez. Ooh. And he, he, he oh. debuted in the Rumble. That's like, like can I, can I can I put a Dirty Hill fun fact? Uh, Giant Gonzalez is the stepfather of, of Ra 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 Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez. You already oh, know, man. Yeah. 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 You, you wouldn't think that's his daughter, but that's the stepfather. But that's the only reason you know I know. But they said, it, they said that the other day. Uh, we, we dropped it on the page before anybody did. No, though. but they actually said it on, on TV? On Monday Night Raw. They usually don't when, drop when, shit like when, that. When her, uh, when she had her first match. Oh, well, well, well sorry, Robert. When we get into that, man. Damn, yo, that, 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 yo, that was crack. Dirty Hill fun fact. Let's go, man. That was dope. That's dope. That's so, dope. So uh, you said the Undertaker versus Giant, Giant Gonzalez. Gonzalez. It's when Giant Gonzalez debuted, and, mm -hmm. and he was like the Giant. He attacked Undertaker. Nobody yeah. like attacked Undertaker like that. And you yeah, know yeah. how they say nobody really attacked, but you see Mad Giants attacking. <laughs> but that's even here. That is true. That's true. <laughs> That is true. They don't mm. like, no one's ever done that to the Undertaker. Then you had Kamala. Yeah. Made so many Kamala. memories, man, so, right? Yeah, so many. So I, I started watching those tapes, and then I was like, nah, I got to get into this. And then the, it was the around the era, the attitude era. So it's like, when I started watching this, Stone Cold just got ran over. Oh, oh so Rikishi. It, yeah, Rikishi. And then he's like, <laughs> he did, did, it, did, it, for did it, it for The Rock. Yeah, yeah. He did it for The Rock. The Rock was like... My idol back then, he was like my inspiration. I looked up to him. I had like yeah. the rock posters in my room and all that, the old Attitude Era belt. Mm -hmm. I, used, I had like five of those. I used to collect those like nothing. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. all yeah. right. Yeah. Young Prodigy, yeah. and then making and all that, okay. So, yeah, that's that's how I basically got started watching it and shit. And then it just snowballed from there. Okay, mm -hmm. brother. That's a question. Ahead, man. Since we talk about as a kid, you're growing up watching wrestling. Yeah. Now, I grew up watching wrestling as a kid too also. And I've gotten mad injuries yeah. playing. Ooh. Have you ever 
I used to pedigree my sister. All right. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of pedigree. I love you, Shadana. Right, so my biggest injury was my little brother, RP, my little brother. We were, were playing on the bed. And Dre. My grandmother would always say, hey, stop playing on the bed. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I let him pedigree me from the top bunk to the bottom bunk. Yeah. Bust oh, my whole yeah. mouth open. Blah, blah, blah. The top have you, bunk? That's high. Yeah. Have you ever had a injury just playing yeah. wrestling as a kid? It was something about I that had mattress. Crazy ass injury. It was back, something. Back in the day. Yo, the, first off, the matches the as mat- kids were like, you were like no, super I, serious. I said the, the, the mattresses that we used oh, to man. fight on, not nah, the matches. We, we fought on the carpet <laughs> or on the floor. Like we land on the floor or something. Like I don't know. Okay. Like, it was just crazy. Nah, no, the first injury I got was like, I was like three, four years old. Damn, kid. And I went on top of the dresser and I tried to like jump from the bed. Oh, But wow. I like, I missed the bed and I hit like the, the floor, but there was like a nail sticking out. Yo. I got, I got cut in my leg and I had to get stitches in the hospital, but I ate that. And my mo- I just went to my mom covering it and she like, you good? And I just, <laughs> I just took my hand out and she, she freaked out. I didn't even freak out. Cause I was like, I was mad young and shit. That was my first injury, but then like. In school, I used to like um, schoolyard wrestle with. with so you you friends. you backyard wrestled or you not, just not played backyard, it? Okay, like, schoolyard. Oh, yeah. okay. So schoolyard. You make the belts. I, I, I gotta know these I got, things. I man. got I got so much suspensions for schoolyard wrestling. Oh hell I, yeah! I got stories for days. Have you ever dropped up the ladder in school? Nah, but I speared, I've actually done it. I speared somebody for like um. There was like this thing. I don't know how to explain. It, it was like a gate. Mm-hmm. And I just spear somebody through it. Oh, you know that's on YouTube somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, man. Wild, let's get into this reaction. Let's get into oh. your your training and all that, man. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, when did you? When was the day you decided that you want to just go into this? Like, I just wanted to go into the. Uh, the was there a match? Was there? Uh, yeah. yeah, something there, specific put, that triggered yeah, you. Yeah, there, there, was, there was actually. It was Takeover Phoenix. Ooh. I think it was Phoenix. Let's Johnny go. Back, I gotta give you a clap for. For for being one of the only people to say yeah, takeover inspired. Nah, nah, take all the matches from Takeover inspired me, but don't every matches, takeover match. Yeah, because back then those matches was different. Church. Yeah, yeah, those yellow, 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 and different. black brand. Yeah, the black. Shout out to the black and yellow brand. Go, go to black, y'all. Go yeah, to black, yeah, black, man. Go to black. Okay, okay. But um, the, <laughs> the match that really inspired me to get into the business was Johnny Gargano versus Ricochet. Let's go! Wow. Can, can you say North America? Yeah. yeah back then, and you know what's yeah. crazy? When we bring up NXT, we bring up greatest moments and great matches. We don't bring up Ricochet, Johnny Gargano matches. We don't. Well, bring well up Ricochet, Ricochet was Ricochet. only in there for like a hot minute. No, nah, but he did a lot. He, for, he, he did a lot in that time. Though. My nigga, yeah, look, yeah, he did. No, in that no, time, a little bit of time he did. In that did. little bit of time, let's be <coughs> honest. In that little bit of time he did because he he beefed with uh Velveteen. He yeah, put that was uh uh-huh. people in talk all the time. So I all don't right, give you all right. for that, bro. I give bring back Prince Puma. This is what I want. Give me my Prince Puma, I'll be good, all right? All right. So your defining moment, man, uh, and how did you go about going to the school, or how did you look about training and all that, man? There was a bunch of schools that I was looking at, but um, I might as well start in the Bronx. I, I started training in the BWF. Old school. That's where we got. I start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bronco. Yeah, Bronco. Yeah, Bronco. Yeah. Nah, I started there, and I, I learned a lot of the lucha style that I thought like I wouldn't even never got into. Your her Karanas is different, man. I like your her Karanas, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I think we've I, actually seen you in a BA, uh, BWF. We have. Nick a lot white. Nah. nah I never nah. wrestled in BWF. I nah. just trained it. Nah, yeah. bro. Oh, that, wasn't that was Nick a lot white and Mantis going Mantis. at it. Shout out to Mantis, bro. Oh, yeah, man. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, well, you know, I don't know nobody's name. Once again, Kenneth Stones, Corey <laughs> Weeson gets everyone's Been fucking name. up names since 1988, oh. man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> nah, but um, I started training there and then the pandemic hit. Ugh. So it was like, damn. What I'm gonna do now? Everything is closed. Whatever. Then um, T2T opened, and Brother Greatness was there. Oh yeah. Fucking Black was there. And oh yeah. Was there. So they started a little school. Shout so out I, to T2T though. Yeah, shout out to T2T. Uh huh. Nah, I enjoyed my time there. I did a lot there. I, I wrestled in the student shows, and then mm-hmm. I took a little break in around January because mm-hmm. I, I felt like I was getting burned out and stuff. Okay. I was I was training like two weeks, two years straight, whatever. So then that's when I I'm decided, like, I got my shoot job. I started working security. So it was like, I need to take a little break, step back. But I came back in February, started doing the matches in PAPW, TOS. Yeah, shout out to House of Pain. Shout out to everybody over there. Yeah, take over. You already know. Shout out to them. But yeah, I started coming back. And then I'm like, I needed, I needed a new place to train. So I started training in the fallout shelter. You already I know. Shout out to Joakim and the family. You already know. Red dog, it's good though. Uh huh. Uh, your time in t- from NT2T and Battle Club, man. Uh, 
you learned a lot, man. Your, your, your greatest thing from being there and there, man. Like, what have you gained from it? Man? I learned a lot from everywhere I trained, yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. And, P, and P, 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 I can't say that shit. I can't even say that. <laughs> P, 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 w. Yeah, man. So, we've been getting that wrong since. <laughs> House of Pain. House of Pain. Since House they of came on the show. You already know. We got an episode. We'll check that out. And we brutally... Could not get PAPW right. Well, when you hang around Kofi, we sit for so long. Right. Like, especially nah, me. I could yeah. never get... I was like, PAP... Uh, <laughs> but shout out to those guys, man. Yeah, shout okay. out to them. But yeah, I learned a lot from memory I trained from the BWF, from mm -hmm. T2T. And yeah, yeah. I, I take all the little bites from everywhere I train and I add it to my arsenal. Mm. Like the, the hair coronas, the lucha moves like yeah. I got from BWF, the psychology I got from T2T. Let's go. And then I'm I'm still learning from I just started in the in the fallout shelter, so I'm still learning trying to get mm -hmm. that type of style to add it to my repertoire. Can now you? now I, I like I've been watching you for a little minute and shit like that, and I, I really want to see you, Nikolai, since we brought brought that up. <laughs> I'm promoting that right here, right I'm, now I'm on sorry, the Dirty Hairs. They, they fought before. No, no, we did. Brother, I, he, he, we tagged he, one match they, before. Yeah. Oh, tag. Yeah, we tagged Scoot one match out right. there. Project. Out white, we, <laughs> we would like to see now, Nikolai White versus. The name, the character. Yes. I don't want to say the gimmick the because it, it's, it's, it, it is you. Yes, it is. Persona. Persona. How did we come up with this? How did this? Um, where should I start? Like, where I, where are I, you Dominican, brother? I see. Nah, yeah. I'm Puerto Rican. Okay. And I'm okay. Black. I, yeah, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Where yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. Get a clap for that. Yeah. 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 Those are people. Yeah, those are people. Yeah, you already know. Let's go, man. Love y'all food. <laughs> this guy here, man. We got some glass food on the best. <laughs> best dish. What is the best uh best uh Hispanic dish of all? Damn, my mom cook my mom cook it all, so it's like I can't even choose one right now. Oh, shout out to mommy, bro. Uh, uh, rice and beans is banging though. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I just want to point out that is my I like favorite. This. Yeah, favorite. I don't care what you cook with the rice and beans. I don't care. You can have a steak. And 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 yeah. mopped and all that with the rice <laughs> yeah. and beans. You have whatever you want with the rice and beans. I don't care. Nah. I just want the rice. And I, beans. I heard that, when man. she put the panini with the rice and beans, she be she be. Hey, everybody loves some panini, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, and you gotta you gotta cook the panini real good. You gotta cook it. You gotta you know what I'm saying. You know how that shit go. Nah, my mom did take her time with that shit. Like, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, right, she be right. in the kitchen for who like five hours, five six hours just cooking right. that panini. Especially in Thanksgiving, she be going off. Okay, oh, no, all right. Know, I know where we going. So we going, since we doing it um, for the culture and all that, man. Well, hold on, he, he still didn't ask, answer his question. Well, what was the question? Is, how do you get the name? Oh, oh, oh. Cause I was ready to go eat now. Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, the name like no panini for him when we come over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> now, the name, though, like, in high school, they used to call me Mills. So, when I first started, I, was, I wanted to be called Mike, like, my shoot name, Michael. Mm. So, I wanted to be called Mike. And all my, all my friends, they watched me, and they're like, why you don't call yourself Mills? We already know you as Mills, and nobody in the scene got a name like that. So, I was like, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Fast. yeah. Nobody really got a name like Mills. Mm -hmm. And Hendrix, I just, I always liked the name Hendrix, so I was like... Let me just add that. Is that because of Jimmy? You know we. Nah, yeah. you know my coworkers used okay. to say that all the time, and I used to get pissed off. Do you, know, you, Jimmy you know Jimmy Hendrix? Yeah, I know Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, I know. Have you done your research behind yeah. Jimmy Yeah, I did my, my research. That's the goal right there. That's the goal. Right, right, right. That's the goal, that's the goal bro. I'm saying, so is there anything that relates to you with Jimmy Hendrix? Nah. Together. There nah. is. There is. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Future was a big influence in me. There it go. Like well, I saw you could take Hendrix from there Future. It go. So there it go. Like, like where you get the, 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 the Hendrix from? Future yeah. Hendrix. Minus yeah. the so, twenty kids. Plus, that the... is your era. Like, yeah. like Jimmy Hendrix is probably more our era. Yeah. But um, Future Hendrix is probably your era. Yeah. Though. I ain't okay. gonna lie. But like my coworkers used to say that all the time. Oh, your gimmick should come out with a guitar, and then I'm like, nah, Elias and all them do that. Jeff Jarrett, like that's not my gimmick. You feel yes. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, I want to. I want to carve my own name, like. But Love they used it. to say like as a joke, like they really thought I wasn't gonna make it. But I just proved all of them wrong, and now all of them want to come to a show. I'm like, nah, y'all was that one. Oh, oh, oh. Got to get them. Hey, 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 it, the viral one is more of a heel, mm. but the Young and the Grand Bronx Prodigy is more like a face type. When I'm face, 
because like the way I think about the viral one is like he's the cocky, he's that brash, mm-hmm. he's the arrogant. He got the mm-hmm. designer with the glasses. Mm-hmm. That's why. But people, for some reason, they paint me as the underdog. I don't know why. Let them. Now, yeah, they, like the everybody be like, you good as a baby face. We're gonna paint you as the underdog, and then you're gonna cl- you're gonna climb the mountain, climb the mountain. But I understand the underdog story. But I, I, if I had my way, I would have uh-huh. came into the business like the old non Drake or the 2012 Kendrick. Yeah, man. Those those was big. My two oh, big man. influences. You might be my era. <laughs> you might be my era kid <laughs> Cause I don't know What the Drake t- Drake talk about now But that That 0 like, shit man I like the Drake now The 0 yeah, shit The 0 Drake hit different yeah, like, He, he had man. a chip on his shoulder yes, he and did, I, I, really, I really respect that Oh That's, hell yeah that, that influenced me Cause I think I have a big chip On my shoulder You know what it is cool. Talk about it Is the 0 Drake was Has something to prove Like you got yeah. something to prove now Facts so I see exactly what you mean. Church. Because the Drake now doesn't have anything to prove. He's proved everything. He's done everything. Yeah. Okay. But you want to prove everything now. So yeah, you, you was looking at me like I hate Drake <laughs> with a passion. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I, mean, I don't like him now. I'm not, nothing against him, bro. Trying to make sure I look around. You know, his camera here. So it's always a big thing. It's yeah. about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's about me. Okay. All right, man. Influences, man. Uh, in, in wrestling, uh, before we get into our Dirty Hill questions and shit like that, man, give us your little influence <laughs> shit, man. One of my biggest influences, I would say one of my, my trainer's brother, Greatness. Oh, man, let's go. He's one of my biggest influences, to be honest. Greatness, greatness. I remember we saw him turn hill. That's when the lights started flickering. I love Ray Mysterio, to be honest. I love it. I heard you say Ray Mysterio. You like Ray Mysterio, man. Uh, you yeah, like Ray Mysterio. Was you like some Latino heat. You like old guys. Like old, You know what I'm saying? Like, my biggest, like, you, you want current era? Like, you, you, you Give me your top five right now, bro. It don't matter. Oh, oh that, I like that, that top allowed. five. That are allowed. Don't Ed, matter. Eddie. Mm-hmm. AJ Styles. I gotta give you a clap for AJ. <laughs> no, I gotta give you a clap for AJ. Happy belated two, ninth two sweet day, BC a lot day. Of, uh, young guys don't really pick AJ. Nah, a- AJ, I watched him for the old TNA days. Back in old <laughs> come around days. often, man. So you like, come around often. <laughs> like, he always been an influence of mine. Come around right often. I was young. Um, okay. The Dudleys was a big influence when I was growing up. The tables. Yes. Get I had them. a friend like in the, in the neighborhood. Like we used to, he, he's light skin type shit. We used to like go around when, when we was young. It was like five. I was like five six. We had the the, the five, glasses bro. type shit. We broke the, like the edges and we, we used to like throw up the three D. Put his little brother through like Yo, he, 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 he feeling that he he going nah, back, back. back he going back back, back. Church, back. Church, so, like, church. I got, like all them wrestling ah. moments. Like, <laughs> give shit. the people what they want. Okay. Was, like it really, it really resonate me, and that's what I'm. I'm right. glad that I'm <laughs> able to chase that dream. Let's go. Because mm. like I have so many memories of like watching it with other friends, people doing it in in the school type shit. So it's like I everybody that I did it with in the school, and I'm still friends to this it kind day. Of, Amen. It kind of you kind of built yourself up to do this. Yeah, type shit. It was kind of like destiny. Yeah, type shit. Like you doing it your whole life. You was doing it in school. You was, you was You're gonna be like the, the Miz. You know how the Miz did like the reality TV, yeah. tough enough, and everybody. Nah, I'm a bad actor. I'm a bad actor. Too. I know. No, never say that. <laughs> so, so are we, bro. Never, never say bad <laughs> acting. You just depend on the role. Yeah, yeah. depends yeah. on the role. Depends like they, the role. you know what I mean. Shit. Depends. Look, on the role. hang around us enough, you be the baddest motherfucker around. Like, yeah, <laughs> right I uh, your, your your influence, your top influence that, that so alive. I, um, mm-hmm. I said Eddie, Eddie, Ray, AJ, the Dudleys, and my my big one. I'm gonna say Undertaker. Yeah, man. Mm, I give you a clap for that. I got a really hard time to say the Undertaker. Why, why your voice get so deep like that, man? Your voice just got, your voice got so deep. I can't hear you guys. It heals for the culture that. shit, man. Uh, DC or Marvel, man? What's going on? Nah, I'm going <laughs> to hold you. Since I, I started watching Marvel, I'm going to say Marvel because One Division was the best to me, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, okay. Speak. Speak he, of One Division. He be uh, stressing me about that shit, man. Because uh, Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Man, Dr. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Uh, how you feeling about this, the madness of the multiverse, man? I can't wait till it come out. <laughs> Look, he blew up multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> multiverse, right? That shit explodes me. Nah, I seen him in, in the last Spider-Man movie, so I got to watch Dr. Strange, to be honest. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, okay, right. since we, we talking... uh. Superhero, superpower that would help you with wrestling. Yeah. What would be your your main? You know gotta, we gotta know these things, brother. Yeah, yeah we do. We gotta know these things. Superpower. I don't even know to be honest. I can't even think of one. All right, <laughs> if you have if you have to have a superpower to help you with life, then can't think of one to go with wrestling. This the Spider Man shit. 
Maybe but he he's swinging with the ribs and he he's Spider Man. You just have Spider Man's abilities. Can't stand Spider Man, bro. Yeah. I can't either. I can't. Like I'm can't be, I'm bro. sorry. All right. I, I, between Spider Man, I can't stand and him. It's I, another superhero I can't stand I, because I, they don't do nothing. Oh, between Spider Man and the Flash. Oh, the Flash. Yeah. They, I can't they, stand them because like I don't understand how people like them so much because they fuck everything up. Yeah. How? <laughs> Uh, time traveling, hello, speedster, her. Oh, you're talking about a new Spider-Man type Yo, shit. No, oh, Spider-Man's not, not even supposed Spider- to be. Spider-Man's so not even supposed to be alive. <laughs> He's, He's not even supposed to be. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, you know we got a new Justice League movie coming out. You, y'all know that's happening, right? Yeah. I don't think no one cares. Okay, well, may the fourth be with you. Your Obi-Wan trailer well, coming out, like, Star uh, Wars. Star Wars. To be honest, I haven't watched Star Wars since episode three. Damn. Yeah, that's way not better. Ah, Yo, come to my house. I got this new class, man. Anime. Anime. I used to I used to love anime when I was younger, Dragon Ball, yes. um, Yu Gi Oh, Pokemon. Oh, those, those, nice. those are those are yeah, like the, 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 the basic, the, the basics. basics. Yeah, I was I, I was old. Um, like, America's basic. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't like old. I wouldn't say anime. America's. He was basics. a Game Boy Color kind of guy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Game Boy Color guy. <laughs> <laughs> I even bad at you. All right, man. Uh, Martin. Okay. Or Jamie Foxx, man. Nah, it's, it's crazy y'all ask me this. Cause, <laughs> he don't like, want me to bring up Will Smith. Yo, go ahead. Bring then up you the, feel me? Like, Martin. Or Will. Yo, or Fresh three. Prince. Martin, Fresh Prince. I like or the Jamie belly. Fox. It's crazy because like, I used to talk to a girl and she lived in Harlem too. Shout out to her. Yeah, like, man. Every time I used to pull up, she used to have Martin or Jamie Foxx on. Like, so it's like. It's crazy. Well, when, it's crazy. When, you know. But I'm, I'm, I, I always gravitated more to Jamie Foxx for some reason. Wow. First, first person that ever said yeah. like that. All I'm right. mad at you. I'm Let's mad go. at you. Nah, because like, he's funny. He's hilarious. Like in the new show he did, yo. Nah, I didn't like that new show. It was I a terrible spin off. It, it wasn't. It, it wasn't even a spin off. It like, wasn't a new show. It's, it came on. Come on, bounce, bro. Like BT, her and shit like oh, that. Oh yeah. Right? I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't know he had a new show. Bro. Yeah, the new show. It, it got canceled though. It, it got canceled it, quick. I see. Or, it it should have never been on. Man. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, Jamie. Jamie Fox a womp for that. You gave him a womp because you didn't even like. You didn't even come up with the spin off and have a baby with fancy or nothing like that. It was. It was. You didn't even have though. It was a headache. You from the Bronx. Mm-hmm. Shit happens. Yeah. Clapping. Uh, <laughs> you know, ha- half a niggas got a scar on their face. Type shit. It's cold <laughs> world. <laughs> this is life. This is life. <laughs> Speaking of all that, top five MCs, man. Top five rappers. Do, do man. you do you are you into battle rap and all that before yeah. we ask you that, man? I'm not really into battle rap, but like, okay. I like I like the hip hop culture. Like so the give old us... school. I'm like old school type. I don't like the new shit. So get the top oh, five then. Let's go. I like Jada Kids. I like Young because what up? I like Kendrick, Drake, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. and who's, who's really my number one? It's, it's hard. You usually uh, used to ask these questions, like you know, you had yeah, you had. Yeah, right I'm, yeah, I'm not used to be asking these questions, like. Okay. But like, I put Reezy up there. Oh, you know I, mean? I gotta give you a clap for that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you a clap for that. Clap now, for that what, 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 which which year are we talking about? Which year are we talking about? Uh, Cause what, what's I'm, what's I'm what's, what's, what's Lil Wayne? Yeah, we talking about? Cause now it was like nah, Lil Wayne now is fucking brilliant, bro. Nah, he nah, he he, man, he, he hasn't lost the step though. He okay, lost okay. I'm but, gonna be like, honest with you, but, Lil but, Wayne but, now. I listen to Lil Wayne now, bro, and I literally call Squiz. Was you okay? And say Shout to Squiz, Squiz Jones. I said Squiz. This nigga Lil Wayne is the nicest rapper yeah. ever, bro. Now his his punchlines is different. Now what, what era did you actually feel was his greatest era? Because it was one know. point he went off, my nigga. And yeah. It was just like it was now, I don't think that, 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 that was that young fault. money era. Oh eight, oh nine. Uh, see, yeah. I, I got I need a year on this man. For, I need a me, year on this. It's uh, his the first um Carter. Mm. Yeah, the first Carter. Carter first Carter. Carter. See, I gotta ask these it's questions. From, for me, it's from the first Carter to the third Carter. Yeah, All right, yeah, man. Yeah, you're, third Carter was different. Really hit First one to the third. That was my Lil Wayne. Yeah, After that, shit. Lil Wayne fell off a little bit. I like the Lil Wayne now, though. I like Lil Hollywood Wayne, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne now reminds me of Eminem now. I didn't like... I was uh, I was mm, a fan of... Because uh, I say this. I was a fan of the Eminem show. Yeah. I, and I, like that I think I was a fan of Eminem up to Encore. Mm. Yeah, because that, uh, that and recovery and shit. From Encore to, to now, I wasn't a fan. But now, I'm like, all right, Eminem's... He could spit. He could, he's back to Eminem. Okay, um, same thing. Why I feel like we, we speak the pandemic, man. Uh, how's that? How how has that affected your career and all that shit, or your lifestyle and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the pandemic. I know, I know it took some a lot of people away, but how yeah. has it affected you? Personally? I know you said uh, you had to stop trading at. Uh, yeah, it took BCW. a year on my on my career, mm-hmm. so it was like it, it changed everybody's life. I lost a friend during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Wow. He he started with me. 
And and back in the BWF, and I, I took him to T two T with me, so he could he could start wrestling too or whatever. And we lost him. I want to say around Survivor Series weekend. Right. So this whole year, I dedicated it to him because he he can't be here to live his dream. Shout out to. And hell, a that was Now this guy. is about to go viral. That went viral right there. You already know. Oh that went viral, That's man. Right. That went viral, man. Oh, uh, you got kids, man? Nah. You don't got no kids. Well, you, got a, you, got a, you got a girlfriend? Wait, we, wait, we, wait. we got some joints that this, watch the show. The Our demographic hit the joints a little bit, man. <laughs> wait, you know. This is the segment. You just mentioned kids. This is the segment where oh, we say, oh. I gotta say it. Oh, you gotta say it? If you don't have no kids. Mm-hmm. Don't have no kids. You know why? <laughs> Cause he has kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. All right, all right, cool, man. Oh, uh, you got merch, man? Yeah, I, I got saw, merch. All right, well, tell me where they can get your merch at and all that shit, man. My merch, I, I use um, Teesprings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Teesprings. Okay. And, um, I got a pro wrestling tees account, but I barely use it. Like, yeah, pro wrestling tees is just like. Uh, they be, they be iffy with a motherfucker. But you shout out what? to uh, yeah, hey, man, Ryan. Shout out to Ryan and shit. Like all right, that. all right. I got some questions, man. We're going to dip into the hot questions. Okay. All right. Uh, if you had to uh, make a porno, right? <laughs> yeah. But you only could use wrestling terms, what would it be? That's a slobber knocker right there. Yo! <laughs> Shout out to the man under the black hat. Jerry, that's my <laughs> All, right. All right. Got another one since we talking. Had to hit, hit that one. Yeah, it's cool with me, I bro. want to shout out to uh, Raw. Smacking the Raw. Smacking the Raw. Yes. <laughs> shout out to the porn hub. <laughs> what would your wrestling porno name be? It's a good one. Yeah. yeah I, had, I, had nah, I really got to think for that one. Like, I, don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, mm. Mm. Okay. Huh. Oh, uh, come on! You thinking about it? He thinking nah, about it in his head. He's you like, got, you got to come back to that that question. All right, I, I can't. All right, all right, yeah, all right, uh, so you got to be unique. You feel me? Would you rather fight a hundred dogs? What? what? Or, or no? The, the duck Wait, question I, is better. I got it. <laughs> the duck question. Would you is rather better. fight a hundred dogs every day? Yeah, every day. Or twenty cats a year? Say cats. Twenty cats a year. Yeah. Why? Because like like dogs. You're not going to survive a hundred dogs. You're not going to survive without a hundred cats. Survive, you can survive small, 20 they cats, small, though. They small. You can survive 20 cats. Well, hold up. Hold up. The, the dogs is big. Small. The cats is big. And then they want to call the animal cruelty people Wait, on us. What type of dogs, like, 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 dogs got, we got, talking about? You got like chihuahuas. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were talking about like pit bulls or boxes or type shit. Nah, like, nah. You got all animal dogs. kills. All right. All right. Matter of fact, I got a better one. How long would it take you to fuck up a hundred kids? Fifth graders. Damn. I right. give you an hour. How I mean, many fifth graders? I gotta fuck up the fifth graders for. Damn. I don't know. I heard this question somewhere. On, I heard yeah. this question on the radio, and this question intrigued me. I was what like, radio yeah, station how is that? Yeah, what radio yo, station is that? I don't know. That? But how many, yo, because I was like, I could fuck up like 80 fifth graders in an hour. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. They fifth like, graders, nigga. Fifth graders. That's damn near manhood. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's yeah, not. Junior, I, listen. Fifth grade, you like what? Are, are we talking about fifth graders then or back then or now or back then? Because these kids selling in the yeah, water, fifth boy. Fifth graders now. Yeah, Whatever. Like, something different. Now give us a talent, secret talent Ooh. that nobody knows about you, man. You can sing. No, I can't sing. You can tap dance. Nah. You can play the violin. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you can play the violin. What up, man? I used to get light when I was younger. How? No music. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. That's where the meals come from. That's where the meals come from, right? That's not a secret talent. That's not a secret talent, man. You. Come on, man. I think a secret talent is like. He's so. Nah, I'm a horrible drawer. I, I write sloppy and all that. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> we gonna be. We, we gonna yo, go with the dancer. Yo, he can yeah, dance. He, he dance. He's right. a dancer. Yo, <laughs> back in the days in the, in the high school in the high school parties. Who, yeah. She used to get lit. You still get light. Nah. Could, could you still get light now? I get heavy now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I get yeah. heavy now. I'm, just saying, I'm too if, rusty if, right if, now. If, we hit a party, no music, we in the joint. We get I could hear a little sun, but I can't do what I used to. Uh, you know why? Because you wrestling now, man. Yeah. That's what it is, man. He gonna hit he gonna hit no music <laughs> and then karate somebody. <laughs> I'm like, oh my fault, it was reflexes. I didn't mean that. Everybody gonna look at him. You like, know what's nah. crazy? The move that gets over. And I, I I never planned it to get over every every wrestling show or mm-hmm. everybody I talk to, they they always like my sling blade for some reason. Mm. My sling blade. What is your favorite move to do? You gotta be my, my top row front drop kick. Okay. Ah. All right. Yeah, uh, you don't have no championships at the moment, man. Uh are you are you looking to 
you know, uh, get one anytime soon. Yeah, my, uh, my next my next booking is a title pr- match. Promote your bookings, man. Tell yeah, them where you actually. Tell, it, tell it, them where you fight at. Matter of fact, let's talk, talk your next match. My next match is in Minnesota. Mm. Minnesota, wow, international. I know like four people out in Minnesota. I just want to point out, and they have no teeth. No teeth. <laughs> I don't know nobody in Minnesota. Nah, me either. I don't know nobody in Minnesota. But it's a title match. It's a title match. What title match is this, brother? It's, this it's is the your innovation first? title. It's my first title match. I'm only 15 matches in. Innovation title. Fire, let's go. I like the name of the title, the innovation. Yo, you better fuck it up, bro. Yeah, man, it up, it's my debut in the Midwest, and I, I, I was always planning to like break. Break the um break boot. Hey, I wish we could have sponsored well, well, this. Well, get, when you get, shout out to the Midwest Damn, Marks out there. You feel me? Man. Yeah, shout out to the Midwest Marks because they gonna probably be at that at that show too, yeah. man. So nah, get it nah, on, man. Nah, so, I always want to break away from the East Coast and go <laughs> to like different territories I like to, see, that. to like test myself. That's that's where the young and on this ground come from. From mm. just going from. Territory to territory. You're going to find yourself in Triple Way. You're going to find yourself in Triple Way. The young and on this grind is, is that New York nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hold you. The young and on this grind sound like. My the Marie, that's somebody like yeah. that. The viral one sounds like, all right, we we here to, 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 to blow this thing up. Let's, yeah. let's, let's make something happen. Yeah. But the young and on this grind sound like, nah, son, I'm not playing with you, son. I'm yeah. on my New York shit. Yeah. I'm not even going to. That's hold Prodigy you, in the building. You feel yo, me? yo, you just going <laughs> to think a New York fitted. And Tim's. Like, like, like if there was like the youngin' on his crown, I'd be like, yo, son got Tim's on? <laughs> I'm like, he about to come out with Tim's on. I'm like, just saying, I'm just saying. Like. Uh, yo, uh, how do you prepare for a match, bro? When you, uh, you know, you said you have 15 matches in. Yeah, only 15 It don't matter, brother. In. How do you prepare for a match, brother? How do you get yourself, do you listen to, do you smoke some bud? What's, or, what's, you what's know, the, what's what the one you track to? you listening to? Yeah. The one, going track? In, the one track you listening to going into your match. I got a whole list of tracks to be honest. Yo, he got serious. You saw his hey, face. I got, a whole I got list of serious. Tracks, I got a whole playlist of getting getting All into right, that. So the one you play, if you serious as hell, like like the one the one you play the most. I'm Everybody sure. got that one song they play the most out of any other. It's, it's song. a fab song to be honest. It's um. Did you say time we heard fat? Yeah, yeah, we heard yeah, fat. Second time. Um, no, not you. Oh. Like on the show. On the oh, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, fat. People nah, love fat. fat. Yeah, fat. Shout out to, he, fat. Shout out to yeah. fat. He, he's a real New York nigga, to be honest. Yo, we got one back here. You already know Queens, uh, Queens Bridge in the building. Nas, you already know. Nah, I fuck with Nas too. I fuck right. with Nas, Jay Z, okay. heavy. All right. Okay, you say so. Yeah, fat. Fat yeah, is yeah, the fat. number one song. Okay. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Fab got like one of the craziest. Versus I could ever remember in my life. Nah, his punchlines is sick. Hit, them shit's hit. That's some Brooklyn. That's some Brooklyn shit. And he, he be saying shit that make you think about think, life. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's one of the one people. Like when I was younger, I listened to Fab when I was young, and I was like, Yo, this who the fuck invented this? <laughs> <laughs> like who? How do you think it is? <laughs> How you thought of that? Nah, he be saying things like, I be like, damn. damn. I'm like, oh, can you rewind that? Can you rewind yeah, that rewind back? That quick. I but it's smooth. To, it, it's, he's smooth, smooth. brother. Yeah, he's smooth yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Look, he a smooth yeah. joint. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, since we from New York, I got, I got, I don't really ask this question. Bacon, egg, or cheese, or chopped cheese? Was he gonna ask that? So, <laughs> no, I wasn't. All right, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> Play his fuck up too. Yeah, man. All right, <laughs> over here. What is your favorite New York sneaker? Ooh. <laughs> I like I like Jordan. Not even sneaker. What is your favorite shoe to wear? Mm. Like we from New York, we know what sneaker wear is. Yeah, we know, where, da, da, da. We know how to put some shit you together. Know how to put now. some shit together. Yeah, now. Shit. First of all, you Puerto Rican, y'all probably y'all got all the Jordans. Yeah, Jordan Eleven. All the Did he say Jordan Eleven? And some uptowns. You say Jordan Eleven? Yeah, definitely got a couple of uh, sneaker in the life. Yeah, Jordan Eleven. I grew up to Jordan 11. Yeah. Yes. Like everybody, like everybody in high yeah. school used to just run. Between the 11s and the 13s? The 13s. I think that between the 11s and the 13s as a kid, <sighs> yeah, those was like the best. I love the 13s. The yeah, Olympic shits was my shit. I, I, I had the, um, what was those gray shit? The gray and white shits? The oh, Barons? He, he, he knew them. He oh, them yeah. shits. The those, those was my favorite was the 13s. I couldn't tell him no, by number. They had too. They had, okay, yeah, okay. They I know they had the Baron Fives, though. Yeah. I had the Baron Fives. So, are you the type to go wait online for sneakers? Hell no. You know, <laughs> like, you know, it, it, look, I, you know, you go order online, but yeah. it's, I still see dudes still lining yeah, they be up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they be in the cold waiting for a pair of sneakers. Not, not even worth it. Yo, can you hold my seat? Uh, All right, let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, wrestling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of opportunities coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got future. We got future, future. Who are five guys in the future that you would love to be able to wrestle? Can, can I stack Indies that? Indies or like... Hold on, hold on. You want to stack it. He yeah, I want to stack it. You want to stack one Where on do you see yourself in five years after that, man? Five years? 
Not even that. Now you, I, this is how you ask me. Yeah, my bad. In, in five years, yeah. where do you see yourself and who do you see yourself wrestling? Five people. And I, I, maybe in the PC, to be mm-hmm. honest. That's been a goal of mine, going mm-hmm. to the PC, because... Learning to train the WWE. What is the PC? Like, performance performance center, center, brother. Okay, that's for people who are out yeah. there who don't know. Dummy. Dummy. That was for people out here who don't, okay. yeah. don't know. Not too many people say the performance center, man, but I like yeah. that. Okay, guy, that, the type of wrestling is different than like the wrestling we got out here. Like, they're mm-hmm. more like detailed to it. I want to learn that type of style. Mm-hmm. Like, they, the way they do the headlocks, the way they do Show the arm drags, Show me Show me shit, yeah. yeah. And, and it's like, the, the indies got that, but it's like, it's you can tell the difference between the so, WWE So style. you want to learn how to actually be on TV. Yeah. No, you want to... Uh, no. Because no. it's, it's certain spots that you got to know. No, me. I think what it is, is okay. I just want to point this out. And I want to give this to WWE, and I always give them the respect for this. Yeah, yeah. He wants to know how to be a showman. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to look at, like he said, look at the indie matches. Okay. Not every indie match is is A1. Not every, every indie match is, is is great. You know why? It's because, professionalism. Yes. No, it's professionalism. But all these guys don't work with each other all yeah. the time. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. it. So Tell all these guys it. don't have a feel Amen. of everybody. Unlike WWE, these guys work together. Uh, if he don't work together, they work together. And they get to look at each other. They get to yeah. train together. Yeah. They get to do this every day with these yeah. same people. So I understand yeah. how... I understand how... Now, I, now me saying this, you, you better preach. No, now me saying this, I understand how. Because you know, I Battle love my Club indie wrestling runs, and I understand how this company runs, runs because and, yeah. they have. I understand why they book people like this because yeah. they have to have a Come on, sense Cole. of camaraderie. They have mm-hmm. a sense of big word unity together. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts because right. if just because we are wrestlers doesn't mean that like I can wrestle with yeah. you. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I've been in the ring with opponents I had no chemistry with to be honest. To be yeah. Honest. And that, that's and the big happens, thing. Chemistry. That's the word. You gotta have chemistry with your opponent or yeah. the match is gonna shit. come out shit, like shit. Okay. It's, it's, shit. It's being truthful. The storytelling. So. How important is story? I'm sorry. We, we're just going off. Nah, I know. Nah. I mean, I mean, we're just going off. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, nah, so that's nah. Five wrestlers. Uh, all right. Storytelling. The, sto- the storytelling. Yeah. This is Thank very you, important. You saved me, man. Yeah. The, the storytelling is very important because, like, you could do a hundred super cakes. You could yeah. do a hundred drop cakes, and it's not going to mean nothing. But if you're telling the story, like, you have a background story of opponent you you about to face, or y- y'all knew each other for so long, and y'all telling that story in the ring, that's magic right there. Yeah. And it shows people get invested in that. People want to come see that match. So it's like storytelling, it goes a long way in wrestling. And that's that's mainly what the big companies look for, I heard. Mm-hmm. It's the storytelling. Mm. They, they don't care about the, the 90 cutters you do or the 90 crossbars. Nah, Ask them about the finishes. How, how, how many finishes yeah, does it how, take? How many finishes do you Ask think it takes in a match? It depends. What type, how long is the match? Well, that's it. That's like, okay. 20 you can't really, matches? No, I mean, you gave the same answer that... All the other wrestlers gave. It yeah. depends on the match. It depends on the stipulations. It depends yeah. on how long it is. So, you know, I can't be mad at this. You know what it is? is I think uh, WWE kind of gave it a bad taste. Mm-hmm. So, and the roll-up pins. But, you know. <laughs> Shut up, man. What is the most devastating move in pro wrestling? Damn. There's a whole bunch of them. You, you, you fuck real with that schoolboy shit, that, that, that roll up pin, because that's the most devastating. That's the most devastating move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can finish a match quick, to be honest. Yeah, like, <laughs> especially yeah. when you buy you some, buy some ropes. We usually say the most draws. devastating move in uh, wrestling is uh, the roll up pin. Yeah, you gotta say that. Because, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Shit, everybody loses once or twice. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, I like that shit, man. Uh, anything else, brother? You want to hit him with this? Uh, you got any shout outs uh, before we get out of here? You know, my ba- my incarcerated baby mother got out, but then she got locked back up. So I want to shout her out. My baby, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Look at man. Yo, yo, shout out to her, though, because she did leave a package. She did leave a package. How she left me some commissary, yeah. and I just got she, off paper. You know what? You know I love her. Yeah. Sh- but uh, your shout outs, brother. Get your shout outs, man. Shout out to my guy, H.A.M., the, mm-hmm. the pig, the flying pig, the lucha pig. That's my lucha guy. Lucha pig. Yeah, yeah, he, like he's that. coming up. He's coming up. Y'all about to hear from him soon. Like, gonna support yeah. that okay, independent yeah, wrestling. We need that. We need that in our oh, system. Yeah. Um, he like, like the Batman character. The he like he 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 wears like a pig costume, man. He do oh like moves. the Batman character at all. Like hot dog stocks. Like nah, the, you know the pig from Batman. I'm trying the pig from Batman. Yeah, the pig from Batman. Batman. Yeah, he was the, the 
killer. Can, can we? Uh, uh, <laughs> y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I'll put yeah, up. I'll know. put up the pictures. Please do. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, if I you don't want to see us, we are available on audio too. Or Spotify, Apple Music, and iHeart, man. Oh, Stick wow. coffee, man. <laughs> shout outs, man. Any shout I like, outs? I like that. Yeah, shout out to my guy, Drew Doobie. Mm-hmm. He's coming up. And Drew know. Doobie? Yeah. Oh. Does he smoke? Yeah, he smoked. Yes, we just met him. We just met him at Invictus. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. That's met my him. guy. Shout that's out my to guy. Him, you already man. know. Well, Drew Doobie. Off, I told him I thought his name was dope. I said, we're going to call you Doobie. You no, like, you're going to call him, I'm, I'm just going to call him Max. <laughs> <laughs> I said, why would you call him Max? You're going to call him Doobie. Like, yeah, yeah, was, like, his last name is a weed name, so you call him Doobie. This guy here, man. Shout so out to let, Doobie. Let everybody know where to find you, man. Mm-hmm. Mills Hendrix BX, Twitter and Instagram. Mills Hendrix on Facebook. And I got t- TikTok, but I barely use it. The Bronx Prodigy underscore. Uh, you on Twitch, man. Follow this nigga, too. He yeah, on yeah, Twitch, I'm man. On Twitch too. Drop your Twitch, too, yeah, man, man. Please. Playing games, the Bronx man. Prodigy on Twitch. Okay. All right. What's your favorite game on Twitter? How do y'all, you know? How do... I got mad games. I like I like Kids of War. I okay. like WWE 2K. Well, what's Xbox, your, what's Xbox your... or PS yeah. guy? I'm a, I got both, actually. Okay, okay. I, I rap with that. I rap Which one you play more? Oh, my Xbox. What you? Wow. What's your following on Twitch, man? Link up nah, with this it nigga. It just man. started. It just started. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to. I'm trying. No, I'm, I'm trying you, to grow. It's hard to get a following. Yeah. Okay. I have a mic. A mic. Yeah. Well, we got three. We can't use them shits, right? Nah, <laughs> nah, it's not even like that, bro. You need more than just a mic. Hey, man. You need a mic. You need, you need a camera. More with your camera. You, you need, need good more gameplay. Game. You need good. A whole you bunch need, of shit going. You need more like a laptop. You need more. Like a, Apps and all yeah. this, it's mad Look, shit, yo, bro. You got to be Bill Gates, all right? Yeah, yeah, no, you know You already, bro. You just got to be, you got to be uh, technical savvy, bro. Yeah. Look, I still got an iPhone seven. You know what I'm saying? Look, where, where they at? At the iPhone twenty? But you, nah, we we at thirteen, I think. Huh? Really? Yeah. Cause I just got the eleven. That was I like got yo notes. Two years ago. Yo, that's crazy. Note is on what? Note twenty two. It's yeah. me, man. They all different. Yeah. Yo, that's, that's, that's crazy. We all appreciate. We appreciate you, you uh, the five hundred one Mills Hendrix, for coming on here. Thank this is real shit. Me. Hope to see you soon. Of course, you will see us soon. Uh, love is love. Again, follow him. Follow us. I'm the DOE. You I'm already know. Kingdom Stones and uh-huh. Kofi Weston. And we are. Uh huh. The dirty hair. Bang. Let's go. Like, subscribe, comment. You already know. Oh, yeah. Shout out to our guy at the vibe everybody, in the building. Everybody, everybody. Call out shelter, man. This is nothing but a straight up takeover. Now we're here. We're in the trap house. It's that bodega, bodega money. Straight ain't that you, bro. New York. We hear the sponsors. Dirty Hills. Good brother Bo. Approved. Kofi Winston. You gotta get a people what they want. Straight up, uh-huh. nothing mm-hmm. but take over. This is real New York shit, right? This is real New York shit. Shane no shade. We here. This house gonna get started. Who you take away? Tell me what a god feel like. Got yes, sir. yes, sir, yes, indeed. Now, as we all know, there's a difference between firecrackers and a gunshot, right? Ooh. Right? We hear we hear in the middle of all the gunshots that are going around here with the sirens going crazy. Try. Rev, Kaiju, Shane, Moses, you are looking at a god figure. You are looking at a savage. You are looking at a feral face. Come May 20th, we're going to kick your ass. We're making a statement. We're going to hurt y'all. We're going to hurt you real bad. Why? Because we can. And because we want some real New York great shit. Victor, what up? This dirty is approved, baby. Okay, go it up. Not to take away from the takeover. STP, we love you. But it's about to go down. New York shit, bring it. Let's go. Dirty is approved. Let's go. Take witness. God bless. Love y'all, nigga.